Hi there, my name is Sarah Snelson and my husband Rob and I are the North Area Pastors. It's a great privilege uh, to be sharing a devotional with you today as part of our Christmas series, hence the sparkles and the sprouts. I hope you are all enjoying uh, the festive period and that you're all ready um, for the next couple of weeks and, and everything that that entails. So Luke 2, 8 says, and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Now, this is a very well known verse from the Christmas story, and it's got a line in a few uh, carols as well. But let's just take a couple of minutes just to think about this verse. Now, in ancient Israel, shepherds were generally considered unclean because of the work they did. They spent most of their days in contact with like the dirty, smelly sheep, um, their manure, their cuts and grazes and just all the flies that were buzzing around. Um, all of this meant that shepherds were almost never seen as clean enough to worship with God's people in God's presence. So they were generally treated as outsiders. Now, I'm not going to say what happens next in the story as uh, that's for tomorrow's devotion, but I imagine most of us know and a lot of us have probably worn a tea towel on our head at some point in our childhood to represent them, but we know the important role these shepherds had at the birth of Christ. Now, by inviting these dirty, smelly outsiders to be a part of the greatest event ever, showed the world that God was doing something new. And by inviting the shepherds, I believe that God was also showing us the qualities needed to help bring Jesus into the lives of ordinary people. Because the role of a shepherd also included leading the sheep to pastures and water, protecting them from wild animals and guiding them at night, whether out in the open or in the sheepfolds. It also had to be counting each one, caring for them and even carrying the weak lambs in their arms. These dirty, smelly outsiders had the foundational qualities of the leaders that God wanted to build his church. Jesus spent his whole ministry spending time with those that were ignored and ostracised, teaching them about the God life and encouraging the gift of leadership in their lives. Many of them went on to play a crucial role in founding the church. And this is the moment in the Christmas story where we begin to see that no one is excluded from God's love through a relationship with Jesus Christ and that we all have a vital role to play in building God's church. So let's make every effort to show God's love this Christmas just as it was shown 2,000 years ago by ensuring that everyone knows they are welcome in the presence of our Saviour Jesus. And I just declare this morning, church, that you have so many opportunities to invite people to church this Christmas and to share the amazing truth of what the birth of Jesus meant for each and every one of us. Have a great day, church, and I'll see you soon. Bye.